In some phases of their long star life, stars can become unstable and then they show these oscillations. These vibrations are comparable to, to sound waves in, say, musical instruments, but they're very slow in comparison. We don't record the sounds directly, we record them through the light. If we turn these light curves into sound, then we will notice that each star has its particular sound or timbre and that this timbre totally depends on the structure of the star, just like the sound of a musical instrument is linked to the material, the size, etc. We've taken the stellar light and we have turned it into sound. What you heard now is a red giant. That's the kind of star that our sun will become. The image is a hydrodynamical model of what it might look like, and what it might look like is actually based on the sound that we get from the light variations. So this is what our sun will become in about five billion years, but then later even, it will become a white dwarf. This is the sound of a white dwarf. From this particular sound pattern that we detected in this star, the authors could figure out that uh, it's made entirely of diamonds. Thanks to this sound, we can actually go back to the structure of the star. You can actually make the analogy with uh, an orchestra because different stars, they produce different timbres uh, when you sonify them. There's a very big educational value in this multisensory approach. I've been working on STEAM education for the past few years, and these STEAM modules are really very powerful to get more people on board on these scientific topics.